and welcome to another video segment from Giant Quest. We'd like to start off by talking about location. As we film more and more musky action, we realize we are revealing private locations and making them public knowledge. To us, this is double-edged sword. Filming takes a lot of time and effort, and it's nice to be able to share our memories with our friends, family, and fans, and also to promote our sport. We feel it's really important to promote catch, photo, and release, and also the proper safe handling and measurement techniques for muskie. All that being said, the other side of the sword is that we end up revealing easily identifiable, identifiable locations. Great muskie spots take a lot of time and money to locate, and revealing them invites competition from other anglers, as well as the possibility of, of inviting too much pressure to the point where muskie will no longer find a spot or area favorable. Muskie are very susceptible to angling pressure. Seeing as we claim to care greatly for all for the well-being of the fish, it seems almost hypocritical to increase the likelihood of pressure on the fishery. Finally, we'd also like to note the small towns like Sunaros and Northwestern Ontario survive fundamentally on tourism, and it's hard for us not to promote the great fishing in the immediate vicinity in hopes of attracting more visitors to our great town. Getting back to the clip more specifically, this video features footage captured on July the 4th, 2012. We had a couple of hours to kill this evening and we decided to fish this spot in its entirety in favor of spending our time more wisely. The small island you can see us cast into breaks into the deepest water of Lake of the Woods on the outside edge and the inside edge features a shallow saddle that connects to a much larger island with a steep rock cliff. The saddle also features several rock spines or extended underwater points as well as a couple of isolated rock piles. There's also a few sandy areas with some sparse vegetation. Traditionally we have focused on the rock piles and quickly moved on, never seeing or caught a fish at this spot. This season we have learned to slow our approach down and fish spots more thoroughly. It's all about fishing the area and not just the spot. We started fishing off the rock cliff on the large island and had action from several east of northern. We also had follows from two smaller muskie in the mid to upper 30 inch range on the rock spines and isolated rock piles. We knew there had to be a large one in the area and we kept pounding it until it produced. Mike is throwing a heli dog while Heinrich is throwing a double bladed bucktail from Dad's blade base. The water is already well into the 70 degree temperature range. Coupled with the clearness of the water, speed is the name of the game as you're about to see. I see it. It's a nice one. It's a nice one. Hey, I'm trying to get it on film, buddy. Oh, I didn't get that. 
Nice. Didn't get back to it close quick enough. Okay, I'm gonna grab the net. <laughs> Just describing what needs to be done. And... Oh, okay. fun drag. Yeah, that's a nice fish. 44. You wanna try and net it yourself? For speed in clear water, just demonstrate. You think that's fast enough? Speed it up. I shouldn't have dropped that bag already. Crazy fish. You got pliers, please. Yeah, well, we got lots of pliers. Just inhaled this. There's a lesson on. why you don't leave your pliers on the gunnel of the boat because when poop hits the van. Something's going in the water. Gonna jump. I missed a good jump. I missed a good jump. On we're a heli around. dog. Nice we're fish, buddy. Line, so we're gonna get her. Nice fish, buddy. Okay, there you go. Get you the nipex here in the pliers. Pliers. Nice spotted clear water. Whitefish Bay Muskie. Brand new spot for Mike and me. We got uh, some warm water here. Lots of bait fish around here. We've seen a couple of smaller ones. We knew there had to be a bigger one. We were just watching a school of beautiful clear water walleye in about, I don't know, what do you think? 12, 10, 12 feet of water there. And sure enough, burning bucktails and a big heli dog and Mike gets a nice Whitefish Bay fish here. You got it, buddy? You got her? Got her? It's a big net. Okay. Do we even want a picture or no? If you want a quick one, I don't know. Doesn't matter. I can get you a real quick one on my small camera. Water's pretty warm. What do we got here? 74 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. The kind of stuff you really don't want to hold a fish out of the water for very long. Let's Let's drop your shades. Ah, oh, that's good. You got them? Nice fish, buddy. Force the flash. <laughs> Dumb smile, Mike. Smile. Nice fish. Let good go. enough. Beautiful fish. You want the stick? Sure. Here you go. Really fish. I want to turn the camera for the release here. Actually, I think I'll take the camera off. Come in for a nice, nice look here. 45 on the money. Let's see her. Feisty fish. Beautiful fish. See, 45? Yeah, close right. enough. Right there. 45. Oh yeah, it's an honest 45. Not a, not a real fat fish, but nice little princess. Right nice on. one, buddy. Sweet. Through there.